Hi there and welcome back to the channel. So this week's vid I've given the camera to mum and dad to do a bit of filming because I've been struggling to find a, enough time to film content as I'm only here on a Saturday really because I usually head back to college on a Sunday. So I'm only here for one day and I'm struggling to get enough content. So through this week, they've been filming a lot of different interesting stuff that you haven't seen on the channel. So I think last week, Laurie came to pick up our um, wraps. So it was a recycling lorry that um, specialised in like farm wraps and like different plastics like that. So they came to pick up all of our bale wrap <coughs> this week and they did a bit of filming on that. <coughs> We've also, they went to the mart on Tuesday. They bought, I think it was around four cows. So it was a good sale. They were good prices as well. We, they were happy with them. So they filmed them coming out of the cattle box and into the robots. We've got the beds to do. I've got a push silage up for the cows and also do the filters. So just the basic jobs that we do in the day. So, I think it was one of the first videos I ever did. You saw this boy. And um, he's, he's a really good piece of kit to be fair. Helps us out a lot. And also keeps the cows healthy and the welfare of the cows is much better when he's here as well. So anyway, the first job I'm gonna do is change the filters, but I'm probably gonna play a few clips of what my mum and dad filmed. So I hope you enjoy what they filmed. So as most of you know, we're all bales on this farm. So we tend to have a lot of plastic. And the regulations for farm assurance require us to recycle all of our plastic and farm waste. So when we recycle our plastic film, we get a certificate to prove that it has gone to a collector. And the plastic company usually recycle the waste plastic into all types of garden benches and furniture. And it's really good to see it having an alternative use rather than just going to landfill. I've just come into the robot clean room now and I also forgot to mention that my mum and dad they've been really busy this week as well washing down 
all the robots washing down the clean rooms of the robots. And I'll tell you what, when they are washed, they look the part to be fair. They look a lot better than they are when they're dirty. But they definitely look really good, better off. Be everything's better off clean than when they've got poo all over it. Doesn't look nice though. They must be doing that this week as well. I didn't manage to get any clips of that though. But anyway, I'm going to keep on going. So we're in the clean room. Right now I'm going to change the filters. I'm going to change the filters for the robots. So what the filters do, all the milk from the cows before going to the bulk tank, they go through the filters so that any dirt that's come off the udders into the milk is all filtered out in these filters. So once it gets to the bulk tank, bulk tank, it's all clean. There's no dirt in it at all. So it's essential to change these. We like to change these around two to three times a day. And when we do that, there's not much muck on them at all um, on the filters. So that's a good amount we find to change them. Two to three times a day is perfect. But anyway, I'll show you what we do. So on this computer here, press this arrow down here. Then you've got this symbol here. Press that. And it asks, do you want to change the milk filter? Yes. So what it'll do, it'll pump all the milk that's left in the system down through the milk filter, through, through the filter. So that when we open this, <laughs> we won't get splattered with milk all over us. And then jobs are good. And then, then we can loosen this off and change the filter. So I'll put the camera down and we'll see how it gets on. So we're on a bit of head cam, so I don't know what the quality is going to be like, but hopefully it's all right. So anyway, I'll just move this out of the way. My dad's been doing uh, a few cow's feet today, so I'll put that down a bit. But first, get this pipe, turn it on a bit. First, we'll loosen this. As you can see, there's no pressure in the, in the pipe. Whereas if we didn't press that button, we'd have had milk chucked all over us right now. So we'll take that cap out. Take the old filter off. And chuck it in the bin out here. Ideal to have a few bins. And then um, put this cap back in there. And then use this pipe wash this down so it's all nice and clean before putting a new filter on give it a good wash around in there as well make sure there's no dirt around the seal then get all the water out of it. So that's all that cleaned down. And we store our filters in here. Really handy place for it, to be fair. So we've got our new filter. Open it up, put this in here. Fold this in. And this is usually just to keep the filter secure in there so it doesn't end up popping out or anything and the milk just goes flowing through it without filtering. Then slot it back in here. Tighten this back up. Go on, job. Press up the milk fil filter's been exchanged. And job's all good and easy as that. It's like two, three minute job on each row, boys. Really easy to do. And then whilst we're at it, we like to wash the clean rooms down as well just to keep them nice and clean and also where the cows stand wash that down as well so reduce the amount of muck and dirt going on the hooves so One out of three of the filters changed, and as I said, it's just a quick two, three minute job, so it doesn't take long at all. We tend to do it in the morning, the afternoon, and then before we go to bed at night. Hey, I'll put the camera on the floor now, and we'll do a bit of a time lapse of me changing them. I never let my 
talk about you mess me up when you came around when I how I when you need a space I don't want Pulling the tractor and wagon out the way so my dad can push silage up with JCB because the starlings, we always have a problem with starlings in the winter. What they do is they land on the silage and they spread it all over the passage and then the cow, it doesn't help that the cows are pushing the silage forward as well with their noses. They like pushing the silage out into the passage trying to find feed um, but after a few hours they can't reach the silage so my dad's just gonna pop in with a bale on the front of the teleander, push, nudge all the silage up, then I'm gonna race back, um, drop around two turn out or something, and that should last them for the rest of the day then. The JCB's got a flat battery, so I've gotta get the trusty Isuzu pickup, start her up with the jump leads, and then hopefully she's start and we can actually get on. So we've got some salt here, for the robots. Oh, turn it the way, that'll help. 25 kg bags so are pretty heavy. There we go. Lift this up. And what this is for, it pure, purifies the water. So it reduces the chance of the it reduces the chance of the water systems for the robot blocking up. That's what um, that's what the salt's for. So we've got the third and final bag of the salt. And it is the quality that you can have on your fish and chips. Let me taste it and we'll have a look then. You can see there. Yeah, I'll put that down there. Look. Well if we have a short of salt on our fish and chips bag. I know where I'll go to, I'll come out here and nick, nick a bit from the bags. It's the handy things about having a farm. A lot of supplies you can use for yourself. A few sparks there, good sign. Right, we'll hop in. Hopefully she starts, first time. Right, moment of truth. Ideal. She started. Looks better than it was anyway. So we've just dropped the around two, three ton out of the wagon now. And but what we did, well we still do have an automatic um, silage pusher from uh, Lely. It's called a Lely Juno. We do have one, but we do sometimes have quite a few problems with him, like uh, getting off track because what he he focuses on like the metal strips that go up the shed at the at the end of the shed he's got metal strips on the floor and he sometimes loses track of where they are and then ends up going like crashing into a gate so we haven't had him going for a while but when he works he's he's a really really good thing to have because he keeps the silage up keeps the cows happy 
and it works really well but we'll have to try and get him fixed and try and get a few more um, metal strips on the floor which will hopefully help him um, improve pushing up the silage. So that's the work I can put out. It's drawn a few cows out, which has helped. But we're going to just send all the cows out. Come on. Oh, this is a softy. Go on. Get out. One of the nicest cows. Go on, girl. Shh, God, it's this one again. Get on. That's all the cows out. Just latch this gate around. Stop them from coming back in. My brother's just gone to fetch a chain to keep the gate there. Pass all the cows out now. They'll only be out there for 15 minutes at tops, so they won't get too stressful. Just it makes it a bit easier for us when we come to do the beds. But anyway, we'll crack on. And this is the last job, hopefully. That's the beds done and that's all the jobs done for the morning. And also, one of the new ones is in. One of the new ones that you saw what, from one of the clips um, further on in the video. Uh, the one, one of the ones that got loaded. She's here. It's been around over a week now since, um, since she's been. And she's visiting herself now. And people often ask how long did it take for the cow to get used to the robots? Well, it varies on the cow. Some take two to three weeks to get used to it and some like her take only a few days so but yeah she she seems to be loving loving the robots loving the feed in the robots and it's just finished real clear look she doesn't she's so mellow about it she doesn't mind that it's a robot milking her but yeah it's just spraying the iodine on the teats doors opening And out she goes. And also here's another one, she's bullying. You can tell. She's she's a fairly new one. Not one of the newer bunches that we've got, but her name's Poppy, she's bullying, so we'll have to go serve her now in a minute. But they don't take long to get used to them, to be fair to them. And it's, a, it's a, when you get into it, it's a good system going. But anyway, I'm gonna end the video there. I hope you enjoyed this video. Bit of a livestock video. I don't really do many of them, but now it's the winter and there's not much field work getting on we'll probably see a few more livestock videos getting on and being posted anyway i hope you enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to smash that like button and if you're not already subscribe to the channel and smack that bell next door next door to the subscribe button so you know when i upload another video and feel free to comment about any um about how good the video was or any questions about the robots and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. So I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll catch you on the next one. Silage castle for Helga the cow. She's just in the separation area because she's just a bit lame on the, I think it's the left rear, so just get her, 
just leave her in here for a few days. Hopefully, she, hopefully she'll um, improve a bit.